Okay, hello YouTube. Um, right, now, if you don't know what a soul is, look at some other videos and find out. God created our souls in the image of God. And God is both male and female. So God's soul, if you like, is made up of two half souls, as are all our souls. Now, we're all children of God. Now, in the Revelations, it states that the number saved will be 144. Thousand. Now they didn't really dig zeros in those days and if we think that we're all children of God we will all be saved. All the parables about the uh, you know 99 sheep in a field and there's one lost you know God God isn't going to leave any behind, okay? And apparently they didn't they weren't big on zeros when they were writing these ancient texts. So if we take this logically, we've got the number 144,000. But if we're all going to be saved, there's obviously a lot more of us than that. So it can't be 144,000, it has to be more. And how many do you think this world could could support? Do you think it could support um, 70 odd billion? I'm not sure. I think it's straining now, right? So I'm going to convert this number. I'm going to add five zeros. Okay. And make it fourteen billion four hundred million. Now, if you checked out Divine Truth, God created our eternal souls, but a finite number, not an infinite number. God is infinite, but we're not. We're a finite number of unique souls. And my idea, if you like, is that, or my thought, is that this number in the Bible is actually given us the total number of half souls that will be, that have been created. So the number of true souls would be half of that, because we all have another half. But let's just stick with people for the moment. <clears throat> now then, I'm going to have to just, right. I'm just trying to draw some straight lines. You've heard of the chessboard scenario with the grains of rice, right? Okay, so we start off with one grain of rice. Let's do two, because there were two in the beginning. Right, and we double it so we get four. Now we will start with one actually. Right, and we double this, we get eight. Then we get sixteen. Then we get uh, thirty-two. And we get 64. And we get 128. Well, I'm not going to do these accurate, okay? 
just to make the point. Right. And then even more. Okay? So it doubles each time. And our like our population has doubled from nineteen fifty nine so I'll put it in nineteen fifty nine pop was three billion. Nineteen ninety nine the pop was six billion. So within a generation there were three billion new souls. Alright, so let's see what's going on here, okay. So let's say this is every generation. Although in the beginning it may have happened a bit quicker, but generally over time, like this, it doubles. So, you had one, then you had two, then you had four. Now while these four are still alive, and these previous ones have since died, the ones that have died will nearly equal the ones that are alive, less one. And that applies at every step. So if we take here, 16, and we had the previous ones that have died, so we've got 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 8 is 15. Right? And we've got 16 alive, 15 who have died. Okay? So that's going to happen every time the population doubles. You've got that many new souls on earth so <clears throat> on October the 31st 2011 the population reached 7 billion <clears throat> now we, God loves the number 7 doesn't he it seems to be some sort of divine number and if we take this number here, 14 billion, and we apply this method of the number of people alive will be one more than the number of people who have lived before and died, we come up with this number. When there is this number of people alive on the earth, total number of people that will be one more than in the spirit world and if we add them up we get this number because I've been thinking about it for a while you know with God's plan and you know, where it's going to get to a certain point, isn't it? When every single soul that God has created has had some experience. And when that time comes, you know, how long is it going to be until, until we move on to the next step? Every single soul in existence that God created has had some experience hasn't no longer sitting there in an incarnate state and I think that times upon us because if you go to the world population now is something like seven comma two eight nine da 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 and there's obviously that's going to be some sort of estimation on that on that part and there may be some reincarnated souls coming back well we know there's a few probably not many And the, 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 by the way, the, about this time is when the population increase, the acceleration of it, um, reached its peak. Now they also say on there, they state that, you know, by so and such a date it will be 8 billion, and then by soon it will be 10 billion, but we don't know what the growth is going to continue on like. We just don't know the future. God knows. Okay, so this is me basically saying that we're we're here. 
we're at the point where um when <laughs> the next stage of God's plan is gonna is gonna be um it's gonna be executed, right? And the num this number seven, God seems to love that number. So um yeah, I think uh we're living in special times and um I'm very uh optimistic about everything. So uh love to all of you out there and you know, love everybody. You know, if you think we've got an eternal life to meet every single other unique soul that God created. Huh? It's a long time. It's a lot of souls to get to know. But we're all unique, so it won't get boring. Okay, ciao.